Welcome to all of our guests. I am Matt Piller, and I'm thrilled that you've chosen to spend part of your day with us. And I'll echo Heather's appreciation for Thermo Fisher Scientific's support of today's program. They're a great partner to us, and we thank them. We have a panel with some great and diverse experience lined up for today's discussion on early process considerations for novel protein therapeutics. Dr. Lena Tholen represents the outsource development perspective in her capacity as Director of Cell Line and Bioprocess Development at Fioni Bio, which offers a number of cell line and process development services in addition to mass spectro spectrometry and bioanalytics and assays. Dr. Meinhard Haslicker is bringing the ADC perspective as head of CMC at Sodio, where five ADCs populate the oncology pipeline in addition to a couple of IL-15 super agonists and cell therapies. And Dr. Niraj Pakala joins us with the fusion protein perspective from Vera Therapeutics, where a recombinant fusion protein called Atacicept is heading into phase three in IgA nephropathy. While today's discussion will likely focus on ADCs and fusion proteins, our panelists have loads of experience in all sorts of biologics development at biopharma companies, large and small. So don't hold back on your questions for them. They're here for you and we'll be taking questions throughout. So please jump into that Q&A box early and often. With that said, let's get into it. Lena, Niraj, and Meinhard, welcome, and thank you for giving us some of your time. For some of you very early in the day, for some of you very late in the day, I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, thanks a lot thank for having the opportunity to be here today. Yeah, so thank, thank you a lot for, for having the opportunity to, to share the experience that we have with the audience. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. So I want to start out uh, just by sharing, uh, giving you each an opportunity to share just a little bit of a experience on your novel protein development um, experiences. Uh, you've, as I mentioned, you've all worked in big bio. Niraj has got a lot of big bio experience. Or, I'm sorry, Meinhardt has a lot of big bio experience. Niraj has worked for several biotech startups. Uh, Lena, I think, has been a, a, a CDO person through through and through, which gives her exposure to all sorts of uh, modalities um, and clients. Uh, but if, if we could kind of go through one by one, Lena, starting with you, and just share a little bit about your perspective and some of the experiences that you've had. Yes. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, I can shortly share my experience in the novel uh, protein uh, development. So we as a CDO of UniBio, we, we are often getting with a lot of different complex proteins into contact. So our clients are mostly like small biotech companies. Also, some of the larger ones are coming to us and uh, they are coming to us with this really complex uh, from fusion proteins to by specifics and also ADCs. Um, some of them are coming already in the uh, initial phase when they have only an idea of the protein and wants to have a cell line development. Other come with, ex um, with already an existing process in place and have some issues concerning aggregation or post translational modifications. And uh, that's always interesting because all of these complex proteins are mostly different and you really need to have a look on the different types of proteins. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> How about you, Niraj? Yeah, Mike, yeah, so thank you again for, uh, um, Matt, sorry, uh, thank you for having me. So yeah, I, I have been working in biologics uh, for almost now nine years. Uh, most of the experience, I would say, monoclonal antibodies, but in this company, we've been working on uh, Atakicept, as you mentioned. Um, this is a pretty, uh, I would say, complex protein compared to monoclonal antibody. Uh, we have uh, had challenges, and I will share that uh, definitely in the following questions, but uh, it's been an interesting journey. We had to go through multiple aspects in terms of ensuring that our cell culture process, as well as the downstream, as well as looking at the control strategy, uh, how we can manage it as we go through the development process. So happy to share some of the perspectives as we get into the discussion. Thanks, Niraj. 
And Meinhardt, yeah. as I mentioned, you 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 spent some time at Shire and Baxter before joining joining Biotech. Tell us a little bit about your 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 <laughs> slot in the in the continuum here. Yeah. Yeah, I think in the past six years when I was uh, working at Sotio Biotech, so I, we worked on a, on a cytokine fusion molecule, so for a late clinical stage process, and also IND processes for an IgG cytokine fusion molecule, and also for two ADCs, both of which are employing different conjugation technologies, one of which is in phase one, the second will be filed then next year. Uh, before that, uh, when I worked at Baxter and Shire, here we, uh, I always worked on complex rare disease molecules, uh, including even five journeys to, to PLA, so uh, commercializing them. And also one, I think we also worked on a gene therapy clinical process for, for AME based AV based and this was at the 500 meter scale yeah so this is a little bit the, the experience that I collected over the past I would say 26 years 